Hey guys! Welcome back to another video. Uh, this week we are making hot cross buns. Because that's not something that they make in France, or at least here in Paris. Um, to be honest, I didn't look too hard. I looked obviously at the big supermarkets close by to us, but from what I've gathered from the other South Africans, it's not really a thing here. So, we found a recipe from Tish on the South Africans in Paris Facebook group. Thank you, Tish. And we're gonna try this recipe out today. We're gonna try and make our own hot cross buns. I have never made hot cross buns before. Um, I enjoy baking, I love baking. I try to bake quite often if I can. Um, so this is gonna be a new fun experience. And if you are like me and you are living in a country where they don't have hot cross buns and you absolutely love them, then you carry on watching this video. So what we do is we actually put more cinnamon in because that's what the recipe wants. The recipe wants, the recipe gets. So. More cinnamon. So we're going to stir all of these great delicious things together. Mm. We're going to make a little well in the middle. Cool. Now, in our well, we are going to pour the beaten egg. Yum! We're going to pour our liquids. Make sure to get all the sugar that was in there. And if you want, you can add sultanas, which are raisins right about now. Uh, my husband does not like raisins, so we are doing a raisin-free hot cross bun recipe, uh, but each to their own. Now we are just going to take our fork, and I like to use a fork to incorporate because it's just a lot easier, it's a good whisking motion, and you're just going to incorporate all of your ingredients. Okay, so once you have your nice sticky dough, um, you are going to cover it. I like to use some cling wrap. You can also use a damp tea towel. Um, personal preference is cling wrap. So now we will take this bowl, which we have nicely covered and we are going to put it in a warm little area for about 45 minutes until it has doubled in size. Okay guys, so we have a cup here. We are going to make our flour paste for the crosses and for that we're going to need 35 grams of flour. If you don't have a scale, this is just about a quarter cup. Then you are going to need one teaspoon of caster sugar. And finally, you will need 35 mils of water and mix. Mix 
also to form a smooth paste. So something very important is preparing your dish. You can use a regular baking tray. Um, I live in a small apartment. I don't have any of my baking stuff here. I am using a glass dish and we are going to prepare the glass dish so that our hot cross buns don't stick. And to do this, you're just gonna grease it. If you have non-stick spray, you can use that. But I'm old fashioned and I like to use butter and flour. And if you want, just for something a little bit extra, you can add a little bit of cinnamon, just to make things interesting. And any excess that you might have, you can just throw away. Okay, so now that our dough has risen, we are going to make it into little balls. What we are going to do now is take some flour. Flour with the surface. Over here. And you're going to need for five minutes. So once you have kneaded your dough, you're going to break it into about eight pieces. Now we will take our oven dish and we will just pop these in here. Seven, eight. And I'm going to suggest that you leave a little space around them because they will rise and they will touch each other, uh, which is fine, but just leave a little space. And it doesn't matter if some are a little bit bigger than others, that's what happens when you make stuff yourself. So we will just leave it here in a warm place for about 10 minutes or until the buns rise. Again, this is a double rise process. Then we will put on our crosses with our paste and pop it in the oven. And they have risen. So that's perfect. And we are now going to put our paste on. So generally you would put this into a piping bag, um, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to try and do it with the teaspoon. This is my little oven, so we are going to put this on, we want 200 degrees, well, 200, 210, somewhere around there, and I'm going to put mine on fan assist, top and bottom, and we're going to put it on for 20 minutes, <laughs> buttons in the thing. but I'm going to make it a little bit longer because I haven't actually preheated this yet, so let's go. And that's it. 
we are going to bake that for 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. So at the moment I have my wire rack, cooling rack set up. I have put a piece of plastic underneath because we are going to glaze once we have put it on the rack and I don't want glaze on my wooden cutting board. So that's my setup. So now that we have our hot cross buns, we are going to glaze. So we have our finished hot cross bun and I'm going to try it now to see if it's actually any good. Um, let's... It's actually good, cooked all the way through, the glaze is delicious, that's a genuine hot cross bun. Guys, it's a hot cross bun. And here is little proof that it is being devoured because it's obviously good. <laughs> 